The import files in DaVinci Resolve, you just drag and drop the folders with the files into your media bin. This will import all the files found to the current media pool bin. If you want to keep the folder structure, you can drag and drop them into the media pool navigation section. This is where you see the master text. This way, the folder structure from your disk will be maintained. You can also immediately drag and drop the files into the timeline. This will import all the found files in the current media bin and create a timeline with all the clips. However, keep in mind that this does not maintain the folder structure. Let's undo that and import the folders from the sample tag folder and see how we can sync them after we add new files to a folder. We can either do this manually or have DaVinci Resolve do this automatically for you. Let me add a new file to the VR folder first. In Resolve, we can now right click on the VR folder in the Media Navigator and choose Resync Media Files. This will load the newly added file to the folder. For the automatic sync, we can turn on the automatically sync media files option. Let me remove the file from the folder. Notice now how Resolve says the media is no longer available. One big disadvantage is that it does not remove unavailable files from the bin. So we need to manually remove it from the bin, which we can do by pressing the delete key or by using the remove selected clip option from the context menu. If I add back the file in Finder, Resolve will automatically add it to the media pool, as we have turned on automatic sync. Instead of manually setting this for each bin in the media pool, we can go a level up, which in this case is the master bin, and turn on automatic resync. This will now ensure that all the sub bins will be automatically synced. Notice now how the sync options for the sub bins are grayed out, as these are now propagated from the master. When I've removed the clip in the VR folder, Resolve will detect it and mark the video as removed in the VR bin. I will restore the file again in Finder and as expected, the file has been automatically added to the VR bin. There is one little catch. If I add a new folder in Finder or Windows Explorer, notice how this is not automatically detected. This is because Resolve only monitors file changes from the added folders. So if you add new folders, even if they are inside of a monitored folder, you will need to manually add them to Resolve, which is a bummer. I really hope that Resolve fixes this in a future update. Another way to import files to bins is by using the Media tab. Navigate to the folder on your computer, or if you have favorites, click on the favorite. You will now see the folders and the files. We can now right click on a folder to import media from the selected folder and actually there are three ways to import. The first method is by using the add folder to media pool. This will only import the files in the selected folder to the active bin. Any subfolders and files in subfolders will be skipped. The second method is by using the add folder and subfolder to the media pool. This time, any files found in the folder and its subfolder will be added to the active bin without the folder structure. The final method is by using the Create Bins option and this will import the clips and copy over the folder structure to the active bin. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.